I mean, a lot of challenges with my career so far has been the amount of motherfuckers. Can you go outside? Can you go outside? <laughs> um, my name is Steve Butcher. I'm from West Auckland, New Zealand, and I've been tattooing for about eight years now. The way I got into the tattoo industry, uh, I was at art school. Uh, I went to art school for four years and graduated with my BFA. Um, towards the end of the third year, uh, my nana passed away on New Year's, um, and I kind of I got my first tattoo because of that. And by getting my first tattoo, I kind of got interested by it because at art school, the whole thing was like, I couldn't just paint or draw what I wanted to paint. It was all kind of like conceptualism and they wanted me to write about everything and I had to have a reason for it. Whereas tattooing is kind of a bit of freedom. For, I'm kind of constricted by what the customer wants, but I'm also free to kind of push the customer in my own direction and try to do something that I want to do. So it was just a lot more freedom for me when it came to artwork. I got interested in it, so I bought my own little cheap kit off the internet and just started jamming on my friends at home. Uh, I turned her bedroom into my studio, so uh, I was working out of there uh, every night after, after school. Um, as soon as I graduated, uh, two weeks later I got a job in a street shop and started doing like little flash designs and stuff. Uh, he fired me after two weeks and was like, you're not good enough and whatever. So then I got another job. I worked there for two years and just kind of built up the core basics and then uh, started doing my own sort of stuff and pushing customers to do like realism and portraits and things like that. Whenever I was, like, sorry, not tattooing, whenever I was drawing when I was a kid or anything like that, it was always realism. I'd always be focused on trying to replicate a photo or try and you know, so because I learned from a young age that I always had to have reference photos if I was going to draw. Because there's no point in drawing from your brain if you have nothing to copy, you know. So what made it interesting to me was like, it's kind of like painting on skin, you know, like mixing color and stuff like this. And it makes it so much more fun than just following a line and doing a black line, you know. So it, for me, it was a way that I could enjoy myself every day at work. Realism in the tattoo industry is pretty much replicating a photo to the best of your ability. Because you have to understand tattooing and understand how skin works and how it fades, you almost have to kind of crispen it up and make more detail when there isn't some. So it's, it's mostly about just creating the best piece you can from the image that you're given. I break the image down into shapes, so I just see it in values. I see it all in colors. So uh, then my stencil, I break it into shapes, so then I have that and the stencil on the skin to follow and then I can just kind of, it's kind of paint by numbers in a way. There's blending involved and stuff like that, but I mean, each kind of section has its own little, that's that color, that's that color, that's that bit. So I kind of draw myself a roadmap with my stencils and just struggle and try and find, you know, try and follow the, follow the pattern. Um, pieces, uh, anything NBA related. I love NBA, so uh, getting to tattoo fellow NBA fans, you know, is always a good day at work. Get to talk shit all day about basketball and stuff like that. Kobe Bryant is my always my friend. They're like, but I don't like basketball. And I'm like, you shouldn't tell me to do what I want to do because that's what I want to do. What it means to be a tattoo artist, I suppose, is, is just kind of, every job's different. So you kind of have to be, even if it's not something you're enthusiastic about, it's something that your customer's enthusiastic about. And I think that's when you start becoming a good tattooer or a famous tattooer is once you start doing things outside the box and you start creating like that is when people start noticing it in your work. I mean, at the start it was, it was to kind of get known, you know, like that motivation comes from, I just want someone to be like, oh, I know that tattoo or I know your work. Now it's more about making sure I'm like, what motivates me now is making sure that the next tattoo is better than the last one I did. It's a lot of pressure at times, and especially if a customer comes to me with like an image that isn't as good as the last image I tattooed, because it can only be as good as the photo you're using. So, I mean, but it's, it's always just having that conscious, conscious mindset of trying to do better than the last time and trying to always move forward instead of get stagnant. Um, a lot of the challenges I face, like working and uh, being a tattoo artist, for me is like the travel. I travel so much during the year, and uh, I'm hardly ever here. Um, but it's just keeping up with like 
time zones and jet lag and workload and people want to go out and party every weekend after conventions and stuff like this so it's like maintaining a social life as well as trying to maintain good work every single time. Um, half the reason why I travel is because I get to work with all these artists from all around the world that I've looked up to, you know, so every time I travel it's not just work, I'm learning every single place I go. I get to just pick all these dudes' brains, you know, people that I've only looked at in magazines beforehand, you know, so that, that part of the job is, is awesome. I, like every artist is kind of created from everything that they've stolen from everyone else, you know what I mean? It's crazy, uh, Instagram has pretty much built my entire career. Um, I was pretty big on Facebook for a while, but my Facebook page is a lot smaller than my Instagram page is now. And I mean, anytime I need, I'm in any country in the world, anytime I need appointments, I just post I'm here and I need work. And I get emails like crazy, it's, it's insane. But Instagram's been the biggest business tool for me, man, huge. I mean, things don't come quickly like that. It's not just an overnight thing where you're gonna do one good tattoo and the world's gonna know you, you know? It's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of networking and a lot of butt licking and a lot of, you know, like you just got to kind of play your cards right and get into the right circles and, and work around the right people that are going to better yourself and make you better. It's happened so fast already. I didn't have any of these goals before. I had small goals, you know what I mean? And shit went crazy. So, uh, I mean, I'd love to, like next year I'm moving to America. So I'll be moving to the States. Uh, I'm going to open a shop over there. I'll be there for maybe three years, that's how long my visa is anyway. Um, so I'll be doing that. Um, but I mean, anything. Uh, I've got a few business ventures ahead. I've got an ink set available with uh, my ink sponsors, uh, Intense Ink. Um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy right now. The, everything's happening so fast. I'm filming a TV show in Australia at the end of the year. So yeah, I, I don't even know, wherever it takes me.